Good morning, this is Robert with Blockchain Education. Ripple XRP has won its court case. Today, about maybe an hour and a half ago, the Securities and Exchanges Commission has put news out that Ripple has won. So this is what happened starting at about 8.20 a.m. Pacific Time. It went from 47.5 cents and it took off these are five minute candles and now it has hit about sixty four and a half cents and it's gonna go higher would I buy here probably not I would wait for another small retrace and then buy there um, it may go back down to fifty nine or sixty cents um, I would just wait and see because it is fairly overbought um, on the one hour it's very overbought so high that it just doesn't hardly go any higher 96 97 on the RSI that's really high but as you can see people are buying the heck out of it so good news on ripple uh, Bitcoin so Bitcoin today is really also taking off so this morning we saw a move from basically started last night at around 30,000 250 and it went up to 31,170 basically so big move on that it can go higher today and it is likely to go higher today it's not terribly overbought so I would expect some more volatility on the way from Bitcoin in the longer term Bitcoin uh, four hour looks really good we're still well within this sideways channel which basically reaches from you know down in the 298 area up to yeah, my my lines got moved so anyway we're going to do that again here so here's the sideways channel on bitcoin i have this on other bitcoin derivatives but not in spot so i better do this okay so there's our sideways channel for Bitcoin so it's moving up and down through this channel and it got to about the halfway mark and then it launched so this doesn't look by, like very much in the uh, bigger scheme of things but it basically shows an increase of almost a thousand dollars in what 12 hours so pretty pretty big eruption from Bitcoin and um, as far as the other market, you know, USDT markets go, there's a lot of coins responding to this price increase. Uh, Ripple, of course, big news today. Um, basically just blasting off to the moon. But once again, I would not buy here. The This is the RSI down here. It's too high. I mean... You get to a point, even though there's extreme bullishness, everybody wants to buy some Ripple right now. It's best just to wait, because I can guarantee you this will calm down at least a bit. Um, if we lay a Fibonacci over the top of it, we'll be able to see, um, you know, what's happening. So, Fib retracement. Let's take a quick look at that. So basically, I would expect it to come at least down to the 382. This means just above 58 cents. Now, is it probably going to do that? I would say probably. With crypto, it's so volatile that anything can happen, but I don't expect it to just keep going up and up and up. It just doesn't work like that. In the longer term, I do expect a lot of additional price increases from Ripple. So I, I, I did want to clarify that, and um, as you can tell by my voice, I'm pretty excited. Um, I made a lot of money today on Bitcoin in uh, inverse futures, or what they call coin futures. So, um, yeah, big things happening in the market. Uh, power continues to impress. I talked about that coin here a couple days ago. Um, power and Steam. Both seem to run together, although steam is not present in the vicinity of 
this type of price action, at least not today. XLM making a big move, you know, basically taking off. This is the last high here. It's almost there. I would expect it to probably not overshoot this by too much. Um, and a retrace is going to be fairly imminent. It may just go to 12 cents and then retrace, but again, hard to say. On the four hour, we have a little bit of green peeking out on the uh, squeeze momentum. So keep an eye on XLM, Stellar. Soul, one of my favorite coins of all time. Massive downtrend for a long time. It's basically been going down, 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 and it just hit $25. So again, this is an area of known resistance at about $26. I would not buy this at the moment because on the daily, the squeeze momentum is not too likely to go a lot higher. So um, I would just hang out and watch Sol, wait for the retrace, and then buy some after it drops back a bit. Uh, Kotai, Cody, C-O-T-I, um, showing some increases on the daily. Let's switch back to four hours so we can see the shorter time frame price structuring. Okay, so this actually has broken above this channel roof, consistently making higher highs and making higher lows. So this is also another coin that looks quite good to buy. Um, also, I would not buy it here. I would wait for some kind of a pullback, and then I would make my move. OP. OP also looking good. Again, another great coin. This came out of a substantial downtrend, and it is taking advantage of the recent move in Bitcoin price. LDO, another favorite. Um, very volatile instrument. It has basically gone up from $1.88 to $2.14 in about 8 to 12 hours. PHB, another favorite, really volatile, making some nice moves. These numbers mean a lot as far as price increases. So keep an eye on PHB. It's probably going to go a lot higher, especially since Bitcoin is on the verge of breaking the 32,000 mark. And when Bit Bitcoin breaks 32,000, it's going to blow up. We're headed for the 40, low 40s to mid 40s after that. So I'll talk about one more, Matic. Again, another favorite. It broke the uh, top of the upward channel just in the last, uh, you know, four to six hours. Looking really good. I'm going to get rid of this, uh, this old chart here that I, this overlay. Okay, so there's Matic against USDT. Looking great. Uh, once again, if you use the uh, trading view uh, watch list, you'll be able to sort by top coins, the top winners, the top losers, that went down. And there's Steam, minus 15% after some uh, pretty volatile moves. So it actually tapped that same area that it hit on Tuesday and came right back down. So, uh, anyway, you can sort by the top gainers, the top losers, and so forth, and pick coins out of this list. It's, it's an incredible tool. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. Be sure to comment, uh, follow, and uh, let me know what you think of Ripple, and let me know, know what you think of the Bitcoin market today. It's pretty awesome. So, there it is. Have a good day. See ya.